If you are at a crossroads right now, you don't necessarily know what you want to do in life or you're not really sure whether the job you're in right now is right for you, maybe you're about to leave school, or maybe you're going to leave college or university and thinking, I don't have a clue what I want to do and you're feeling the pressure, then this is some ideas to maybe think the next step. So, I hated school. I hated school because it just wasn't for me. Maybe you can relate to that. But it was like, I just didn't want to be there. I was clock watching all the time. I just wanted to basically go out and have a good time. And I was like, I used to be in the scout. So like I used to like climb a mountain bike and I was just having fun. So this is the first thing to think about. Do you ultimately know what your amazing gifts are? Because if you don't know what your amazing gifts are right now, how can you actually tap into what's going to make you feel awesome when you're using them? There's a lot of people out there never fully find out who they are, so they can't fully be completely themselves and also ultimately do what they love most. And so to get that, you've got to go on a bit of a journey. Like, like it's, people are scared to just go down a path they've never been down before in case like, of the unknown, the fear of failure, the fear of what might happen. Um, fear that, it, that actually the, the path of chosen is not the right one. Well, I tell you what, it's okay to then choose a different path. So, like, I um, when I left school, I basically I filled my A-levels. So I went and uh, became an outdoor instructor in the Lake District. So I was training. I was like 46 pounds a week. But I didn't care because I was on a rock face. I was mountain biking. <clears throat> so, like, it was just fun. And I thought, oh, this is a great lifestyle and what a, what a great place to be. I feel healthy and all that stuff. But then after a, a year or two, I started looking at all the instructors, really amazing people, by the way. Uh, and so it's not about that. But when I started looking at their, their financial plan, I was looking and thinking, gosh, they're in the 40s and they're earning quite low income and they don't really have pensions. And I, I was thinking, so at what point do you actually have money to have more choice? And I thought, I don't want to do this. So I ended up going to university to become a teacher because my dad was a teacher because the financial income and the barrier, and it was like secure, uh, a secure job, a secure pension, and all that stuff. So I was like, there's my roadmap. And so I did that for 10 years. So the reason I'm telling you this is like, when I was at, when I was 18, I had no idea I was going to become a secondary school teacher. The idea of that would have like been, that would have sucked. But the path I just chose was like a different one. I went down this path, thought, right, I like that, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna go down this for 10 years. Like even if you do something for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and then you choose a completely different path, it's okay. So I changed completely my path just three years ago again. Like I was in property for 12 years as a hobby. Uh, I was doing it on the side of teaching. I walked out of teaching with that. I didn't expect that. I just walked out, chose that path, and I set, I've now set up three businesses. Uh, I've got a development company, an investment company, an education company. And I had, if you said to me, Tom, at 18, Tom, would you be uh, have more businesses when you're older? I'd have gone, I'd be up for it, but I wouldn't have thought it was possible, yeah? So the reason I'm saying this is to you is if you're at a crossroads, don't know what you want to do, don't feel that whatever you make your decision on is that you're like committing that for the rest of your life. You can, whatever you want, have choice because choice ultimately controls the quality of your life and the ability to change. And you can change it in an instant, yeah? So I'm writing a book right now and it's gonna come out in January. It's called Property, Wealth and Cash Flow. And it's not about really about making money. It's about actually how being wealthy and that comes from finding out who you are, finding the skills you've got. But the key thing is this, like money is a massive motivator and it's massively important because it makes the world go round. Now, like I had this weird, strange relationship with money. Like I didn't think money was all, money was the root of all evil. Uh, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, a penny saved is a penny earned. I had all these things that I learned from my childhood and at school, which is conflicting with uh, what my association money is right now. And so I wanted to be a millionaire, but I didn't think I could. I wanted to be uh, have a multi-million pound portfolio, but I didn't think it was possible because I came from a poor background. And I didn't think I had the skills. So the journey, I'm just enjoying this journey and, and you just go on it too. Like, go and just work out who you are. Think about how you can monetize your amazing skills and gifts you've got and decide what financial level do you want to play at. Now, like, you've got to think long, long play on this. 
because right now you might want to blow it on a nice Merc, a Range Rover or whatever, but if you haven't got an idea that actually it, when you're 50 and you've blown it all and you've got no money, you're going to have to start working hard. So we build assets, we're building investments, property investments, because it's an asset back business, it creates cash flow, and then it means that I can choose to go change direction this way, that way, because that more cash flow comes in. I'm not having to exchange my time for money, that's why I do property investing. But your skill sets, you might be like awesome at acting, you might be a great singer, you might be great at people pleaser, you might be great with IT, it doesn't matter. Like go with your flow and think how can you add service to others, how can you make and monetize it, and that's where you're gonna then be rich, wealthy, <clears throat> because you're gonna feel great, you're gonna be growing, you're gonna be achieving, you're gonna be contributing to others, and that's fulfillment and that's true wealth. Especially then if you monetize it and you can have more money than you need so that creates more choice. Then you can do charitable, charitable stuff, you can start giving back, which is cool, yeah? So if you're at a crossroads and you're just leaving school, and you're not sure if A-levels or vocation route is for you, then just decide like, like which one might, which one floats your boat the best? Which one meets your skill sets right now the best? Like if you, if you know you're not academic, why force yourself to do A-levels? If you know you wanna be a doctor, yeah, get it. You've gotta go and do a degree, yeah? You've gotta go and follow that path because that's the proven pathway to become a doctor. But if you don't wanna become a doctor or you don't want to do something which requires a degree 100%, then don't feel you have to go and do a degree. Don't feel you have to go to A-levels. Just think, for this next year, like if you decided in one year that you wanted to go and do a different course, you can do it. Like you, if you then start, you want to do this a degree, uh, the fear might be, well, I've spent money on it. Well, you're never ever gonna get your time back. You can make more money. So go and have a go for a year, like enjoy it. And then decide, you know what, it's not for me. I'm gonna deviate. When it changed, like I pulled out of university my first uni because I thought it sucked. I was stuck in this place called Crew. It was the pits, uh, and I'm sorry if you live there, but while I was doing an outdoor degree, and I was like nowhere near mountains, rivers, sea. So I was like, what am I doing here? I was like getting really flat. So I jumped ship and went back to university like a year later. See what I mean? Like, so just go and have a go. It's okay to change, but find out who you are first. Find out then how you can monetize your amazing skills that you've got, and that's when you're gonna skyrocket. And if it means doing a course and pulling out, if it means going to university, if it means going to have a job and then quitting, that's cool. But you gotta go do it to get started. Like, rather than sit at home and wonder, just get going. So right now, you could start doing podcasts, books, YouTube videos, like my YouTube video channel, Tom Heaney Property. Um, I'm launching a book in January, Property Wealth and Cashflow. I look out for that. Like, start getting knowledge, start learning about yourself, start just exploring you, and then once you've found more about you, then start and then start thinking, how can I make money from this, yeah? But make sure money is a priority, because if you don't, you're gonna be poor or skint when you're older, and then you look back and think, I wish I'd done something about it sooner. So my advice to you is do it now, okay? So let me know if you, got, if you are, are lost or whatever, uh, I really enjoy helping people just like yourself. And I know it's like to be a bit of a lost lamb. Uh, it happens, okay? And it's okay if you go down one path and you become lost again. Just remind yourself and have this in your on your shoulder that it's okay to change because choice ultimately controls the quality of all our lives.